Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. Um, I often say to people when they ask me if I use my Thermomix every day, is I will say no, I do not use my Thermomix every day. Some days I don't use it all, then other days I use it so much that I get sick of washing the bowl. So today is the, the other. I have washed the bowl so many times today um, and I've still got, even after this, I've still got to go one more step. Um, I'm making focaccia. I've also got to cook rice. So my youngest son is coming for tea tonight with his girlfriend and he has requested proper apricot chicken, which means chicken drumsticks, apricot nectar and French onion soup, all mixed together and baked in the oven, served with rice. So I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to cook the rice in the Thermomix um, because I really do love the boiled rice in the Thermomix. It's so easy and it works out perfectly every time. Um, but I'm also going to do a focaccia. Now this recipe I've only made once before um, and it is using sourdough starter discard. Um, and it is really delicious. So we're not gonna follow the recipe exactly. It says to use rosemary. Well, I've got some, um, I did the skinny mixes, roasted tomato burrata the other day, uh, pasta, tomato, roasted tomato burrata pasta. It's hard to remember the other day. And that's a bit of basil oil I've got left, which is just fresh basil and olive oil. And I'm gonna use that on top instead of rosemary. Um, and then I've got some sea salt, but that's later. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna make the dough. So we're gonna start cooking. Now this recipe is in uh, pounds and ounces. Um, so my Thermomix, even though I have my default uh, measurements as metric, it recognises that this recipe is in Imperial, so it has, it will uh, weigh in pounds and ounces. So it says to line a baking tray, nine by 13, nine inches by 13 inches with parchment and set aside. So I've done that. And then we're gonna carry on. Now I've just washed this bowl and put it back together. It's still warm. So I want 10 ounces of water. Nine point nine. Ten ounces, perfect. Next, um, half an ounce of honey. I'm going to pour this and drip it in there without um, adding too much. Half an ounce. Do you reckon? That's it. Oops, that's 0.7 of an ounce. Now yeah, I've made a mess. Right here, I'll be back. I know. I knew before I did that it was going to be a bad idea, but I did it anyway. So, right. Next, um, one packet of or envelope back to dry yeast. So I bought this. This is yeast and bread and fruit. I bought this, grabbed it in a hurry because I thought it was um, the Lauki bread improver that I buy, but it's not. This is Lighthouse yeast and bread improver. So um, we're going to use that. We're going to pop the lid on and then we're going to activate it. Um, three minutes at 100 degrees. Fahrenheit that is, not Celsius, um, on speed one. So I will be back. Right on. So let's have a look. Okay, so now we're gonna add six ounces 
16 ounces of all-purpose flour. So in Australia, all-purpose flour is plain flour. Spot on. Um, six ounces of sourdough starter discard, unfed, which is this. So this one is starving. I stirred this up without feeding it, it hasn't risen at all, and it's really super liquid. Oops. Okay. Uh, half an ounce of extra virgin olive oil. A teaspoon of salt. Oh, there's a the teaspoon. So with that, um, this, this sourdough discard, um, if I fed that, it would come back to life. It's not totally dead. Um, but here, we're using it for flavour, not for rising, because we've added the yeast. Um, we're going to put the lid on. And we're going to knead that for three minutes. For those of you that haven't been here before, um, when you're using the dough function or the knead function with your Thermomix, um, don't walk away. Stay close by and watch it because it does um, bounce around a bit um, with some doughs. So you don't want your Thermomix to bounce off the bench and land on the floor. These um, slider boards, they definitely um, help with it. And they're also very good for moving your Thermomix across the bench um, and not dragging them across on the scales, on the feet, which are the scales. So anyway, I will come back once this is finished kneading. I'm right here. So now we're going to transfer this to our wine baking tray and spread out evenly. So. Um, focaccia is a, <clears throat> a wetter dough. I'm going to spread this out in this pan really well and I'll probably wet my hands to do it but I think I'm going to be fighting with it so I won't make you watch um, and once we're going to leave this to rise for a couple of hours let's see how many hours I'm um, covered clean wrap and let rise until doubled in size, two hours. So I'll be back um, when we're ready to proceed. And so this should be going into the oven just, just about tea time, just before tea. So um, half an hour. So that will be, tea will be about half past six, quarter to seven, seven o'clock, um, which will mean we'll be pulling this out just before tea. Right here. Um, I'll be back when we're up to the next stage. 
Um, right, yes, we've left that sit there um, for a couple of hours. Um, and it's risen up quite nicely. Um, now it says pour over two ounces of extra virgin olive oil. Now I don't know how much this is, I'm just going to put on how much I would put on. Nice, generous amount. Um, sprinkle with flaky salt, so I've got these. Um, sea salt flakes. And then we've just got to get our fingers and go like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put on a little tiny bit more oil. Then we'll leave this to rest. I wonder how long we leave it to rest for. For 30 minutes. Right here, and then we'll be back to put it in the oven. Looks delicious. Right here. I'll be back. So this is our focaccia, um, and this is made with the sourdough discard. It's a bit thicker than I expected. Anyway, let's give it a chop. It's just out of the oven. crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Mm. Delicious. I'll have to make sure that not everyone knows it's my piece. Alright. Anyway, this one's worth giving a go. If you've got a bit of an excess of sourdough starter, discard. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please give it a thumbs up, pop over to my channel and subscribe. And I really hope I'll see you next time.